Hi, my name is Dr. Matt Winter and I welcome you to this presentation outlining the procedure of a cystoscopy and insertion of a ureteric stent. You've been provided with this video on a portable media device in order to provide you with the relevant information you require to adequately be informed on the following aspects. Number one, why a cystoscopy and ureteric stent is needed. Number two, what are the expected benefits of a ureteric stent? Number three, what are the risks? Number four, are there any alternatives? And five, what to expect after the stent is inserted. The kidney is an organ whose primary responsibility is to filter the blood and to remove waste products as urine. When the kidney makes urine, it flows down a pipe which is called the ureter into the bladder. The urine is then emptied from the bladder through the urethra, which is commonly called the water pipe. A kidney stone forms within the kidney due to a range of conditions. A lack of fluid intake is the most common reason people form kidney stones. When a kidney stone falls down the ureter, it can get stuck within the ureter. If a stone gets stuck in the ureter, it causes pain in the loin and the groin region due to blockage of urine flow. This blockage can put strain on the kidney and predispose the patient to infection. This can make some people so sick that they need to be admitted to the intensive care unit. Most stones, less than five millimetres, have a good chance of passing down the entire ureter and into the bladder. The stone then gets passed out when you urinate. This process can take days to weeks to occur and is often associated with attacks of severe pain. If the stone is greater than five millimetres, it may never pass into the bladder, hence a cystoscopy and ureteric stent are indicated. A cystoscopy is a procedure whereby your doctor can look into the bladder. Here is a cystoscope. It is performed under general anaesthetic and a dose of antibiotics is also given. During cystoscopy, the ureteric opening in the bladder will be found. A small pipe, which is called a ureteric catheter, will be inserted through the cystoscope and into the ureter. Contrast dye will then be squirted into the ureter to outline the kidney and the ureter. An x-ray will then be taken, which helps us identify where the stone is. A wire is then placed through the ureteric catheter, past the stone to the kidney, and then a ureteric stent is placed around the stone. A stent looks like this. It's a plastic tube with holes in it and curls on either end. It's often called a double J.